I'm not in that dark room. Ugh. How did I get this? It looks really deep. Where is everyone? Christian? Christian! Hang on. Why doesn't it hurt? I've handled them before. How can I be paired up after all those ones? Three o'clock. Oh no. Am I dead? I can't be. I have a slight pulse. Oh my gosh. I remember. I was trying to get away. Of course, this was commanded by my guardian. She hates me and my... They cut it. My hair. I should have expected this. my hair. Revolting mess for a revolting girl. Violet, you should know better than to go against me. She told me that time, time again. But none ring louder in my head than last. The time before I decided to run. I wonder now whether that was such a good idea. When I tried to get away, I tripped and fell off a cliff, and a branch or something must have impaled me. It was three o'clock. I know where I am now. I'm on the border of the dead. I can't be dead. I still have a slight pulse. Two keys. stories like this. If I go through one, I die. If I go through the other, I live. But if I don't do that soon, I'll get trapped here. Living for me seems overrated. I'm just gonna end up shut back up in that room anyway. Probably until I die. To be honest, I don't want to know what happens when you die. I don't want to just go black. What if that's what happens? I don't want to die. Is life everything though? For me, maybe not. I've lived in darkness for months. I haven't seen Pip and Christian in what seems years. If I can't be with the ones who I want to be with, what's the point? Maybe I should just die. Then they wouldn't have to worry about me. It'll be okay, Violet. I love you. I want to go back. But your happiness is worth so much more than mine. <laughs> 